Hello everyone and welcome back to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. So today we're going to be reviewing two expressions from BR Distilling Company, who's based out of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we have the River Set Rye and we have the Blue Note Juke Joint Whiskey. Um, I have opened both of these and uh, took down some of my tasting notes. Um, I've actually been really excited to get into these two. I've seen a lot of talk on Instagram um, about these expressions here. So guys, without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the River Set Rye. Now, this is a uh, Tennessee straight rye whiskey. Uh, it's aged for a minimum of four years and has a mash bill of 95% rye and 5% malted barley. Also comes in at 93 proof. So let's go ahead and get into the nose. Very, very fruity um, on the nose just right away. Definitely some of those rye spices in there, though, as well. Say it's very balanced with the um, like like the rye spices and the the fruity notes um, combined. Very very well balanced nose. It's not an overly complex nose. Not not picking up a, a ton, but there's definitely a lot of a uh, fruitiness. Some some oranges, some lemons, maybe a little bit of pepper towards the uh, towards the back end. Again, not overly complex, but a very, very well balanced nose. It's not, you know, it's not spice heavy or fruit heavy. Just a perfect, uh, perfect balance there. Very refreshing. Let's give it to the palate, guys. Cheers. Yeah. So. One of the things that that really struck me when I first took a sip of this is um, the mouthfeel on this. It's very um, it's very mouth coating, and also just uh, it really makes your mouth water. It really hits the, the sides of the palate. A lot of those citrus notes come through. Beautiful apple note, some cinnamon that kind of follows through into the finish. But there's that that very very there's there's some of those delicate fruits and then. Uh, again, there's that, uh, there's, I guess you would say maybe a very savory note, um, that really just, uh, makes the, makes the mouth water, um, coming on the, on the sides of the palate there. Really nice, uh, like a cinnamon, a cinnamon apple, uh, aspect to this. Cinnamon more, more so on the, uh, more so on the finish. Let's go ahead and get in the next sip, guys. You know, one thing I will say, it definitely drinks like it's 93 proof. You're not picking up a lot of, not picking up a lot of rye spice um, on this one for being a, a Tennessee, uh, Tennessee straight rye whiskey. You're not getting a lot of that rye spice. There's very, very little and get that really on the front of the palate. There's some pepper that really starts to develop, um, some like white pepper that kind of develops onto the back of the palate. But a very nice mix of of fruitiness and, and and that there's that that cinnamon, maybe a little bit of brown sugar too. They kind of follow through into the finish with that pepper, makes it a little, just very little bit spicy on on the back end. Um, again, those those rye notes really are on the uh, on the front of the palate, and then it transitions into those those citrus notes um, that that really just uh, make the mouth water. Very nice viscosity to it for being a 93 proof. And then again, that cinnamon. There's that that white pepper and a little bit of brown sugar um, into the back of the finish. Let's get into the last sip, guys. Yeah, this is a very um, a very easy drinker right here. Um, this is something that you can really sit with and just uh, and just go at it. Again, it's not super high proof, so it's not going to blow you away. It's very easy on the palate. You know, it's uh, again, it just it makes your mouth water, makes you want to go back for more. 
and it's there's not a ton of depth to it, which that's that's not a bad thing. There's not a ton of depth to it, but the flavors that are there, they really really stick out. Again, that apple cinnamon note, beautiful apple note. The citrus notes there on the sides of the palate, that white pepper, the cinnamon and the brown sugar that kind of follow through to the finish. Uh, this is a great, uh, again, a very easy drinking um, Tennessee um, straight, you know, rye whiskey. Uh, I would, I would, you know, this is something that I would buy and just keep on my shelf um, just to drink. Um, it, it'd be a daily drinker for me, really. Um, looking for a rye that has, you know, some spicy, you know, a little bit of spiciness to it, but then those those fruity flavors, beautiful apple, cinnamon, you know, some brown sugar, some white pepper into the finish. Uh, fantastic uh, rye here from uh, BR Distilling Company. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the Blue Note Juke Joint Whiskey. Now, this one comes in at 93 proof. Um, the mash bill on this one is 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. Um, inside here is actually Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey that is aged for a minimum of three years. So let's go ahead and get into the nose. Very, very fruity, um, just like the uh, just like the rye was. A lot of nice, uh, a lot of nice fruit notes. Definitely some baking spices in there as well. Really nice, like um, like an undertone of a, a really sweet vanilla in there. Like a, a sweet oak to it too. Um, very, very sweet oak, like a little bit further into the glass. Really like the nose on this one. Again, that, that fruitiness, there's those, those baking spices, some sweet oak in there. Maybe a slight touch of, of like a honey. Very, very sweet candy-like nose. Let's go ahead and get to the palate, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so one thing that I really, really like about this whiskey is that first that first sip is just bursting with, with fruitiness all over the palate from the front into the back. You know, just like the rye, the mouthfeel on this one is very refreshing. It covers the palate very, very well, um, and again, it leaves you with your mouth watering. Um, you know, so it has this. Uh, again, there, there's again, there's some of those delicate fruits that are in there. Um, some some pears, definitely some definitely some pear in there for sure. And you're starting to get some, maybe a little bit of orange in there as well. Maybe a little bit of strawberry in there. Really, really nice fruity notes um, on that first sip. Uh, for for it being a twenty percent rye, you know you don't get that rye spice from this. Um, I think you're getting more of the fruity characters that come with uh, that come with the rye. Um, if there is a little bit of spice, it's more so on on the finish, like through the finish. But you're definitely not getting it on the front of the palate. Again, drinks like it's ninety three proof. It doesn't drink any hotter than that. Um, but there's there's a very nice balance though between you know there there is some baking spices in there and then there's those those again those delicate fruity notes, but that first sip is just um, it it's it's really really fruity again covers the mouth very well. Let's get to the second sip. And you know when I was taking my notes down, that second sip, it's it's consistent. Um, that's one of the things that I circled on my notes is every sip that I went back to was just as fruity as the first sip. And I love that. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not masked. It doesn't hide after the first couple sips that you take um, through them, you know, maybe uh, one or two glasses. Uh, it all stays consistent sip after sip, glass after glass. Um, I really, really like that about this one. And again, you know, that, that fruity note just all over the front of the palate. The the pears, there's strawberry in there for sure. And then, you know, there's a little bit of that spice that follows through onto the finish. Maybe some allspice there um, onto the back end. Now, 
that sweet oak note that I picked up on the nose, you do get that through the finish, but it is very, very faint, um, very mild, sweet oak note. But it plays very well with those delicate fruity flavors um, going through into that finish. Let's get to the last sip, guys. Cheers. Sip after sip. Very consistent. Mouth-watering. Very, very fruity. Again, in front of the palate, there's, there's some oranges, pear, there's strawberry, some of that sweet oak going into the finish. Some baking spices that kind of play along into the middle of the palate, into the finish. Some allspice. Almost like a, uh, like a very faint. Um, there's maybe some black pepper in this one. Some some white pepper was on the rye. Um, I felt, but this one's more of like a more of like a black pepper there on the finish, and that's definitely the, those rye notes that um, that are coming through. Um, but again, overall, um, this is this is very very good um, in, in my opinion. I really really like what um, BR Distilling Company did here with this Blue Note uh, Juke Joint whiskey. Very very flavorful. Very, very consistent. That's something that I really look for in any kind of whiskey is consistency. Um, not only through bottles, you know, different bottles and different batches, but through the sips that I take. And, you know, maybe I, I have a glass in the morning. I have a glass um, in the evening time. When there's that consistency there, that's a home run for me. Um, that is something, you know, between between the consistency and having a really nice finish, that is really all that I'm looking for in a solid whiskey. And, and for this one, this is a, a fantastic daily drinker here. Um, this is something I would like to get my hands on, you know, several bottles um, just to have them. Absolutely fantastic. I would really love to try um, the nine-year version of this, like the, the nine and ten-year single barrel expressions, I believe. I would really, really like to try um, those just to see how they compare with, um, with, with this one here. But overall, fantastic, fantastic stuff here from BR Distilling Company. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you to BR Distilling Company for sending me these two bottles to review on the channel. I really, really like both of these bottles. Um, the River Set Rye had a beautiful cinnamon uh, uh, apple aspect to it. Um, very nice viscosity, nice baking spices in there. Um, but this Blue No Juke Joint Whiskey, um, I really, really like this bottle. I like this bottle a lot. Um, the fruity characters that that, that come through it um, give you that that mouth watering, uh, you know, that mouth watering feel. Nice viscosity and that consistency from sip to sip. This is really everything right here that I'm looking for um, in a bourbon. Um, so with, with that said, I would really, really like to try those single barrel offerings. Um, the nine and 10 year, I, I believe that, um, uh, that they put out, I'd really like to see how they compare to, um, to basically their, their base model. Um, but again, thank you, BR Distilling Company for sending me some of that Memphis love. Um, so if you guys are looking for more reviews like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys. Stay dusty.